If the saying age is just a number is true, the number 27 is exhibit number one. Edward Nathan George Jr. started his NFL career nearly 30 years ago and ended his time with the Titans nearly 20 years ago, yet he does not look markedly different. This is truly amazing because Eddie George turns 50 this weekend. When you think of Eddie George, you think of this franchise's all-time leading rusher. You think of him never missing a game. You think of the 1,000-yard seasons, all the touchdowns and 100-yard games, putting it all on the line against Ray Lewis in the 2003 playoffs. Everyone knew that Eddie George was coming. Eddie knew the defenses were waiting on him, and yet he ran fearlessly, earning the respect of both friend and foe. No one here is us. Remember, it's our time. It's beyond ironic that the Titans are playing in Cleveland on the weekend that Eddie George turns 50. Cleveland Brown Stadium was the site of one of Eddie's most memorable games. December 17, 2000. Freezing cold, heavy snow, and Eddie George pounded the Browns into submission with 34 carries for 176 yards and three touchdowns. Back in the state where he won the Heisman Trophy, Eddie was at his most dominant. Nobody wanted to be out there. It was miserable, but he grinded it out just like always and just put on, a, put on an exhibition of how to run the ball in, in bad weather, and that's how Eddie played. He was the, he was the grinder. He would, he would get every yard he could, and uh, it, was a, it was a great game. I remember that game like it was yesterday. Being that moment and watching this guy knocking people around, admittedly, that, those games are built for the ground game. You know, when there's, when there's inclement weather and there's snow on the ground and it's just like, you know, people don't want to be out there, it's cold, whatever else, and you got to back this as big as most defensive linemen, <laughs> that's an advantage. And just to watch him mauling people and nobody wanting to get in, middle of that, in front of that dump truck, man, that was just fun to watch. Late in that game, the Browns wanted nothing to do with Andy George. I mean, he was, guys were bouncing off of him. Other guys didn't want to come close to him. He was running through players, running through, you know, people trying to tack him with his feet. and. Uh, you know, one of my favorite pictures of Eddie is one with him with the snowflakes all around him and him just wide-eyed plowing straight ahead. I, I'll, I'll never forget that day. Happy 50th birthday to the great number 27, Eddie George.